Stan Jabalisco here. I'd like to suggest that you perform a little experiment. Um, it's really quite simple. All you need is a few of those so-called refrigerator magnets. Uh, the ones that I have are about an inch in diameter, two and a half uh, centimeters for those of you who like metric, and maybe three millimeters thick. And you just you can stack them up. Uh, the poles are on the flat faces, so you can either stack them up or not be able to stack them up, depending on whether the poles are attracting or repelling. I suggest you stack two or three of them together to make one magnet and two or three of them together to make another magnet. Uh, in any case, make two identical magnets. You can use other kinds of magnets, but refrigerator magnets work very well quote refrigerator that's assuming your refrigerator has a ferromagnetic <laughs> door on it so you can stick reminders like um, don't forget to buy refrigerator magnets what you do is you test to see what kinds of barriers will allow magnetic fields to go through and what kinds of barriers won't Obviously, things like glass and plastic and paper and cardboard, you would expect the magnetic fields to penetrate. And if you arrange the magnets so they ordinarily would attract each other and stick to each other, uh, then they should attract each other and perhaps even stick to the barrier if it's thin enough. Uh, paper, cardboard, I don't know about a pane of glass, that might be too thick. but those kinds of materials are obviously non-ferromagnetic and you would expect them not to block a magnetic field. But what about metals? Well, a metal such as aluminum foil or a steel plate or a copper plate for that matter or aluminum, which metals will allow magnetic fields to penetrate and which uh, which sorts of barriers, which materials will allow magnetic fields to penetrate and which materials will block them. And I tested several different objects uh, to find out what would happen. And, I, and the, the results you can find, the results of this and other magnetism experiments, you can find in my book, Electricity Experiments You Can Do at Home, published by McGraw-Hill in 2010. That's electricity experiments you can do at home, but obviously magnetism is included in my definition of electricity. Uh, the book comes in three sections, DC electricity, AC electricity, and magnetism. This uh, particular experiment is outlined in the results I got shown on pages um, Let's see. Well, it's chapter mag 4, pages 267. I'm looking at the paperback issue right now to 270. Experiment called uh, mag 4. And I tested several different barriers. A paper plate. Yes, the attractive force uh, penetrated completely, and so did the repulsive force. And plastic, same thing. Aluminum foil, would you believe? Yes, the magnetic field, both attracting and repelling, fully uh, penetrated the aluminum, because aluminum is not ferromagnetic, I presume. But a cast iron skillet, I couldn't detect any type of change in the attraction. Now, the magnets were attracted to the iron itself, but I couldn't detect any change uh, in the magnetism uh, in the attractive force caused by this cast iron. When I, the more obvious test was the repulsive force. I could not detect any repulsive force that could penetrate cast iron. You take away the cast iron, the magnets repel. You put the cast iron in the way, they would not repel. Then I took a tuna can lid. Now I guess it depends on the brand of tuna, but that uh, uh, did attract to some extent the magnet but the repulsive force um, let's see what happened yes these magnets did repel each other through the aluminum 
or through the tuna can lid, but not as much as they would without the can lid in the way, and not as much as they would through paper. Sort of a partially ferromagnetic material, you might say. Um, a sardine can lid, on the other hand, fully allow the magnetic field to go through. Now, I guess, it, again, it depends on the brand of sardines that you like, and if you don't like sardines, I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, I used a shrimp can lid, I used a clam can lid, and uh, you can use other types of materials. I did not try copper, um, I did not try steel, but I would expect that you would get the same results with copper that you would get with aluminum because it's non-ferromagnetic, and I would expect you would get the same results uh, with steel that you would get with cast iron. That is, it is ferromagnetic and so it would not allow a magnetic field to penetrate it. It would allow the magnet to stick to it, but it wouldn't uh, allow any penetration of the repulsive magnetic field. But try whatever you can get your hands on. Try rubber. Try your clothes. Uh, well, of course, there's certain things you might not want to try. But that is the arrangement. How could it get much simpler? Just get some different materials and uh, some refrigerator magnets and have at it. Have fun. Stan Jubilisco signing off. Until next time, so long.